Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum, and increasingly realillusiononlyforum.com. Uh, one of the people that follows my channel asked if I could make a video explaining the free Python plugin, Spring Joints. So here's the uh, the plugin. You can download it for free. I'll, I, I'll try to put a link to it in this if I remember it's Spring Joints. There it is. Uh, and they actually have an example, and I tried to follow the example, and I got confused too. But luckily on the forum, as I mentioned, uh, some great user was able to help me. I appreciate the help, and that's really where you want to go if you have questions. But I'm going to try to explain their demo because they do it real fast and I do it without sound, so maybe I can I can help this out. So anyway, we have this uh, setup. I'm going to um, show you what we have in this scene. We have the base avatar right here. This is already finished, and I, I would go through and make it, but uh, I just thought I would show you real quick how it's done. So you have the, you create your avatar. The avatar is riding in this Jeep, okay? So there's a Jeep, so that's really all we have. We have a prop for a Jeep, and we have the avatar. That's, so we have. So in the avatar, what you do is you go into uh, your sections here, and you go to the edit reach targets, and you want to have reach targets for the, for the hands and or the feet. You don't have to anchor both of them, but if you want to anchor both, that's the places to anchor them. And you also want to create these um, uh, dummies for the other parts of the body. So if you go into here, you'll see here's here's the head dummy, and it's not uh, it's it's linked to the chest dummy. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And uh, but the hands, if you look at the hands, there's these two dummy hands left and right, and the, and the two dummy feet. So you create them by using reach effectors. And then once you've created them with reach effectors, and again, this is just the hands and or the feet, you can, you can lock one or both, or, uh, but you have to lock something to have that character locked so that as it moves, something's locked. Yeah, I guess you could lock the butt if you just wanted to lock the butt to the chair and then have everything flail around. Uh, but anyway, so we have those effectors selected. And then if you actually click on them, you can see you go into the parent and where you select is what you want to anchor them to. In this particular case, the Jeep is just all one big thing. So there's no separate steering wheel. There's no separate pedals. So the hands are, are uh, anchored to the feet. This other hand I mean, to the Jeep, anchored to the Jeep. And then this here on this side, if you can see these, uh, these dummies down here, they're also anchored to the Jeep. So if I click this, that's anchored to the Jeep. So basically, we've anchored the hands and the feet to the Jeep. Okay, got that? The other dummies that are part of the character themselves are not reach effectors, but merely dummies to control the avatar itself. So we have these two, which is basically this chest dummy, which started off being the head effector or neck effector, and this um, the hip dummy. And then the last dummy we create, we just created just by making a dummy, is just make is a sphere down here. And this is the, the root dummy. And this is going to be the dummy that you're going to link as a chain. And so essentially what's going to happen is this, if you can understand this. The spring joints operates on a, on a chain of items that are linked. And that chain is going to move around and thrash around like a spring. So you can see these are the three items that are going to be linked as a chain. So this, this character is just going to move and thrash around. We lock the hands and the feet so that if this character moves, the hands anchor it, and so it looks like she's trying to hang on to the Jeep as it moves around. If we didn't have any anchors here, she would just flop around and <laughs> jump up and down, but she would still move in a spring fashion if you, if you did that. So we want to anchor something here. Uh, so that's basically how it does. So then what you just do is you go through each of these items and you anchor them down as a chain. Again, it's a chain. So here's a chain all the way down. So this is anchored to the hip. The hip here, hip here is anchored to this root, and this root dummy is not anchored to anything because that's the root that anchors all that. So that's the chain that we want to anchor. That's really all you have to do. Once you create those things, you, you lock the hands and or the feet to some item. You create a chain that goes down through your avatar that's going to make it bounce up and uh, you know kind of move in a, in a spring fashion. And then we implement the spring. So then we go in to run the, the plugins. Uh, Python example, spring joints. In the spring joints, we have to choose which items we're going to have as part of that chain. So we want the root two dummy, we want the hip dummy, and we want the chest dummy. So that's our, that's our three items in that chain. And so now if we start the simulation and we go ahead and we select this thing here and then we uh, move it around. Yeah, grab it. 
you can see that she bounces around in a in a kind of and of course you can adjust the bouncing and the movements and all of that stuff with uh, with the different parameters that are here. Uh, so I'm not I'm not going to try to do that because I'm not going to explain all the parameters. But you can see, and she's going to try to hang on to those items. You can see that you can actually extend it so much that she can't hang on to it. So you know when you're doing your animations, you've got to be a little bit um, you know. Um, careful on, on how much you have her go back and forth but essentially that's that's all you do that's and then once you like it you you go ahead and, and bake those keys in and do that sort of stuff so that's essentially how it works that that chain is then uh driving the the avatar and the avatar is locked any way you want to lock it i mean you can just lock her feet if you wanted to and then her arms would flail around or you can lock her arms and her feet would flail around too but but that's how you do the spring joints so Hopefully this explains how to do it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and uh, and I learned something new. So that's what always happens. And, and there's somebody at our front door, so now I gotta go. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>